gonna be finally installing a bumper on the cart, which I'm super excited about and uh, been wanting to do for a while now. But now that we have all the resources and all the parts came in for it, uh, we can go ahead and mock it up, see what it looks like. So, here's a go kart. These are Volvo parts. So, here we have the cart and of course the bumper's in the big box right here. So, I'll go ahead and pull it out and show you which bumper we got for the go kart today. Okay, so essentially in these boxes we have the parts that we need uh, to put the bumper together on the go-kart. So essentially this is actually a bash bar, a new one of these for the front um, from Point Cart. So super sick, um, chrome, gotta get it out of here. So, we ended up picking up this bash bar. Uh, there you go, the official point carding. Uh, it's hard to see. Camera won't pick it up, but there's um, some official writing right there from point cart. So we'll have this new bash bar on there to support the bumper. So there's our first piece. I can get rid of this box now big box for that little part so and then in here we have our bumper oh, oh man well that didn't go as planned but <laughs> here we have the pearl white I think it's called the C14 I, I can't remember uh, bumper which will look so good on the go-kart and you're probably thinking like are you gonna spray paint it like a different color or something like from pearl white because you got a black cart and stuff and actually I like the pearl white a ton uh, I did do a mock-up which I'll throw the picture up right now of uh, when I did mock it up because I want to make sure all this fit before actually putting it on here so then I had all the right stuff to put it on um, so here I'll just so you guys already saw the mock-up picture but I'll go ahead and put it in front of the go-kart really quick for you guys the exposure so high I don't know what, but Man, it looks so good. Exposure is so high. What is going on? Okay, so basically, I have the cart up in the air right now. Um, and I'm just taking out the bolts so that support. Just basically taking out the bolts that uh, support this bar so we can put the new one in and mock that one up. old one one of the bolts actually got seized on the inside on this side right here as you can see it's still in there but I decided not to cut this one up and order a new one so if I did want to run this bar again and take off the bumper then um, I could so essentially this should just sit right on here like so and then we'll just have the other bar that doesn't have the bottom supports like the other one. So then this can get just clamp down on the bumper, which has, I've already installed it, but from point cart, you can get these adjustable um, mounts right here, which have two different notches, one that's closer, one that's further. So. We're gonna do the furthest because we have our ink, our tires coming in super close uh, to the bumper already. So we don't want it to be hitting the bumper. So essentially sit like right there. 
So, let's see how it looks. I think I mocked this bumper up already, and we might have to drill some holes up closer because it sticks out a little too far. So, we'll see how that goes. So, what I'm going to have to do because my bottom bar right here is not wide enough to have these farther outside mounts hook into it. Um, I'm gonna dremel some of the corner out so then um, this can hook in and sit flush. So I'm gonna do that to both of these on the outer one. Okay, update on where I'm at so far. Basically, if I flip it around, um, I shaved off the areas that I needed to and it sits, it's not like the cleanest by any means, but it sits nice on the bottom bar and um, basically what I'm gonna do next is drill holes right here on the further in on the bar because as you can see it's going to clamp down um, on the front of so the support so when the when it's sitting on the bottom the back bar the bars the front or the top bar is going to be on the front area and that's not going to um, support it you need to be sitting on the back bar so it wedges right here so essentially yeah the further back we could push this bar um the more it's gonna sit further back and sandwich these two so when i do that it's probably gonna um like rub against here and here because it's gonna be so far back that i might have to cut part of the uh back part of the the splash bar off but yeah we're gonna drill the holes and see how it looks first I just finished drilling the holes and I just put it on and damn it looks so good sheesh there's a first look of it on the cart it's not I don't have it sandwiched together yet but right now I'm gonna pull it off and mock it up to see how it works So I figured because it was still hitting the ground that maybe we just have to adjust the height. So I'm gonna adjust the bolts at its highest setting and then we'll see how that looks. See if we can get it actually off the ground supported by top and bottom bars. All right, so now I have it all mocked up and this thing is looking mean, guys. We got it officially off the ground, barely. You know that drift fitment um, right now what I'm going because I don't have it I have it in like secured it's not going anywhere but as you can see the wheel fitment is super tight as cool as that is um, we can't really turn it because the wheel will hit the body or the bumper I mean so um, basically what I'm gonna do is put washers in between um, the spacer and the bumper so then it can push out the bumper enough that we'll have wheel clearance and then I could turn at 100% and then I'm also going to get longer bolts um, for right here so then the nut and bolt can wrap around and hold this on and then I also got these clamps from point carding as well so 
these are holding it in nice and tight and then I have zip ties at the bottom to keep the bat like the bottom from slipping back so then um, the bumper could stay up right so what I'm thinking is coming up with some sort of solution another time I don't have time today but that goes into the bolt into the frame right here that used to be for the old um, there's a bolt right here for the old bar that comes across because it would come into the frame so thinking of a bolt that or some piece of metal that goes from this bolt and then wraps around to hold this back in so it doesn't slip out and then I can just leave this area open so I can clamp these down and that way I can take it on easily and like fast enough so then I don't always have to zip tie it and if I'm like don't have zip ties and stuff like that it'll be nice and convenient and so besides yeah besides that really functionally uh, just making sure it's pushed out a little bit more so then we can actually steer because you know steering is an important part of drifting and to just drive it in general um, to put on uh, or you know you'd want it functionally so it can turn because you can barely turn at all so I think this side could probably turn a little bit more I don't know but that's just because of the uh, it looks that way just because of the alignments a little whack but yeah, we'll definitely need to push it out a little bit more. In another video, I have um, the ret like another piece of the body kit for the car, and then that'll be it for the body aesthetically. And this thing should be done. Besides the the last piece of the puzzle and doing some minor things to make this more functional. Um, I mean, this thing runs good, it drives good. Just need to make and more functional finish a couple last aesthetic aesthetic pieces on it and we we'll good to go so super happy with it i think the rest of today we're gonna go to my nana's and uh we're gonna go see joe and do some other things with drones and stuff like that so um yeah catch you guys then